So I took the PT exam last week because some people had asked me about techniques they heard about and I wasn't sure whether or not they would work. So I put it to the test and I failed hard. And I made a video about that. I broke it down on the things that I did. So I'll link that video above and below if you want to check it out. Now, just to be sure that it was the techniques that didn't work and not because PTE had made some changes to the scoring, I ran that shit back. I took the exam again this week. I wanted to make sure that it was the techniques and not because PT had made some changes. And I got my scores today. My name's Sonny and this is Sonny English. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because this is where you get the truth about PTE. Now, if you want me to take a look at your scores to see if I can point you in the right direction, go to my Instagram at Sonny English. In my profile, you'll find instructions on how you can submit your scores to me for me to assess. Before we get started, I just want to point out, I'm not the one. I don't like posting scores like these. I don't like to talk about how I got secrets to show you where I can help you get 90s and everything. Nah, I just tell it like it is. Help you score as high as you can. And I never brag about how I can get 90s, I can get 90s. Because to me, getting 90s doesn't mean shit. Because a person can get all 90s and they can't teach you a damn thing. You feel me? Anyways, y'all ready? Let's get into this. Let me just show you the scores that I got last week again, and I'll show you the scores that I got today, and we can make that comparison. So I want to point out that last week, the techniques that I focused on testing were in the um, speaking and the writing. And I'll talk about those two modules at the end of the video. I'm going to first go over the reading and the listening. In the reading, I didn't change anything. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned that I have been getting 90s in the reading. Four out of the last five exams, I've gotten 90 in the reading, except for last week where I got 84. And the only thing that I changed on that exam last week that could affect my reading score was that summarized written text. I used a technique that I have never tried before and I assumed that it didn't work. So it pulled down my reading score. Well, this time I went back. I went back to my proven technique that I've always used for the summarized written text. And as you can see, the writing went back up, right? And obviously it also affected my reading score. So that shows you that uh, my assumption was correct. I said that the technique that I used didn't work. It pulled down the writing score and it also affected my reading score. Now, what does that show us? Doesn't seem like anything has changed in the writing. As far as the summarized written text goes so far, I haven't seen any changes. Reading hasn't changed anything either. So keep on doing what you're doing. And on top of that, I guessed on all the multiple choice questions in the reading. What? Now let's check that listening. Last week, I got 70 in the listening. My assumption was that because I changed the technique in the summarized spoken text, that affected my listening score. And I also changed the technique for the retail lecture, which also affects the listening score. Now the logical thing to do this time was to go back to my proven techniques. So I used my proven technique for the summarized spoken text that fixed the writing and the listening. And I fixed my technique. I went back to my proven technique for retail lecture that also fixed the speaking and the listening. So I would say that my assumptions were correct where I thought the techniques were the reasons why that um, the scores went down. And it was not because of changes being made in the PT scoring. Let's talk about that writing. Now, last week, I tested new techniques um, for the summaries, something I've never tried before on the exam. And um, clearly it didn't work for me, right? So I was using the same words over and over again. Um, similar to when I copy and pasted their, um, their sentence, um, I didn't see a consistency in the scores. Now, for the essay, I just uh, wrote it off topic randomly. I, didn't even, I don't remember what I wrote, but it was off topic. And clearly, um, both the summaries and the essays were not good. Now, this time around, I had to change that. I had to go back to the proven techniques. And my proven techniques are actually templates. And yes, so I use templates for all of the writing tasks. But honestly, I can do the writing. 
come on, I can do the writing without templates. So why am I using templates? Because that's what I teach. I show my students how to do the writing with templates and that simplifies things. So obviously I have to go and test that. And as you can see, it went back to perfection. And that is the consistency that I need to see before I teach something, right? I don't only look for high communicative skills. I need to see a consistency of high enabling skills as well. That way I can tell what works, what doesn't work, and what affects what. So from what I can see here, I don't really feel like changes have been made in the scoring for the writing. So whatever technique you have used in the past, as long as you know it had worked for you in the past, keep on keeping on. Here we go with that speaking again. Describe image and retail lecture. Those two tasks were the major changes on the last exam. So what did I do? For every one of those tasks, I spoke for 10 seconds. And how did I do? I got 58. And in the previous video, I've already explained why I feel like those two tasks were the reason why I pulled down my speaking score. So this time around, again, I went back to my proven techniques. So I went back to the way I've always done the describe image and retail lecture. And it takes me about 25 seconds to complete each one. Now, I'm not saying you have to speak for 25 seconds, no. The reason why I speak for 25 seconds is because the amount of words I have in my template takes me 25 seconds to say. So don't get me wrong now, I'm not saying 25 just like those people saying, you gotta speak for 38, hell no. But when I changed my technique back to my old ways, what happened to the speaking score? It went all the way back up, right? So I don't believe that there were changes in the scoring. And what I notice is what I've already talked about. Remember I said that read aloud and, re uh, read aloud and repeat sentence heavily impacts your speaking score. And again, I got 58. So I need 21 more points for that 79. And you can get it from the describe image and the retail lecture. But which one would you focus on? Retail lecture, why? because that affects speaking and your listening. The describe image does not affect anything else but the speaking. So you should be able to get the retail lecture points and it'll help with the speaking and that listening. I hope that information was helpful. Now, as far as the changes in scoring, like I said, any changes? Nope. Thank you for watching. I hope that breakdown and comparison of the scores were helpful for you. Remember to hit that subscribe button because you wanna trust in me to provide you the truth about PTE. Remember to check out my other tutorials, drop me a like and a comment. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.